I'm Dakota Baker from Palo Alto's Youth Video Corps, and we're here at El Camino Park to show you what all this construction is about. At El Camino Park, we are building a, a reservoir, a pump station, and a water supply well. The reservoir is about two and a half million gallons. It's going to be completely underground, so at the end of construction, you will not see it from the surface. So we split the project into phase one and phase two. Phase one is all the utility work, so digging the reservoir, putting in the pump station, putting in the piping. Once we're all done with our work, phase two, Parks Department will come in. We're going to have synthetic turf on this old soccer field over here. We're going to be putting in a new softball field, some lacrosse field, soccer fields. Um, over this side will be sod. Right now we're expecting completion in August of 2013. The water in this reservoir primarily goes to what we call pressure area one. Pressure area one is everything east of El Camino Real. Have an interconnect with Stanford so we can uh, send the water over to the Stanford area as well and vice versa. We had the groundbreaking ceremony, I think it was October 17th around that date, and then uh, groundbreaking, they started digging out the hole for the reservoir a couple days later. That reservoir is going to only be known basically to the city employees who maintain it. And so it's not going to be a big structure that requires a lot of maintenance. Uh, uh, in the future or whatnot, it's, it's been designed to function as a buried structure. All of the work of the reservoir is not done yet, but the lion's share of, of, of the work is done. The structure itself is a made major accomplishment. That is Stanford land. We lease it to the city for a park, but is owned by Stanford, and so to put something as permanent as an underground water reservoir, they needed Stanford's agreement to do that. If you lost water because of an earthquake and there was no water coming to the city, then this emergency reservoir becomes extremely important as a water supply. The idea is that we be able to keep Stanford Hospital going for the 60 to 90 days. The hospital is the only level one trauma center between San Jose and San Francisco. So in the event of a major disaster or emergency, it will be a very significant uh, you know, source of medical care for people who are injured you know, in something like an earthquake. So it's even more important that it have all of the utility support system to keep it open in the event of an emergency. Providing water for the Stanford Hospital and having a robust emergency water supply system is crucial for the health and safety of our citizens. For the YVC, I'm Kenny Jones.